Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. So I'd like to preface this by saying that what I found is completely useless and in fact uh, it's as useless as useless can get. But still I find it very funny anyway and I wanted to share with you because some of you may be interested. So as the thumbnail implies, I essentially found kind of a meme generator on Emacs and you can find it on GitHub. So let me open up my Firefox and uh, you can get it from GitHub from source. So you don't really have it on Melpa. You can't uh, use package to get it or install package to get it. You have to essentially download this repository and then put it on your uh, under your .emacs.d folder. We'll talk about installation later. As of right now, I just want to show this off. So let me open up Emacs and uh, I can open it by pressing meta x me, hitting enter. And I'm essentially here opening uh, kind of a list of all the templates that I have. So these are all the regular meme templates that you expect. So if you have spent any time on the internet, you know most of these. Now, let's say that I want to edit one of these. So for example, if I choose uh, Dwight Schrute here, uh, let me find a quote. So for example, uh, how would I describe myself? How would I describe myself? Three words. Uh, so what are they? Let's see. Excuse me. Hardworking, alpha male, jackhammer, merciless, insatiable. Now, if you have watched any amount of The Office, you also know this. But uh, this is what you, this is how you would make a simple meme. And uh, essentially, these parameters here, they're going to change each of the bottom and the top rows. So for example, this 20 here is supposed to be the margin. So I can increase this in order to increase the margin from counting from the top. And for the bottom one, the margin uh, actually begins counting from the bottom. So 30, 40, 50, this kinds of stuff. This is supposed to be the size of the um, of the text. So if I set it to 100, it's going to be much larger. And the 10 is going to be very minuscule. So let's set this to 60 as it was before. This is going to change the color again, so I can give it regular colors, for example, green or blue or yellow. I haven't played too much with middle. Uh, this essentially allows you to change the um, the the alignment so i can actually set this for example to be left aligned if it works i don't think that the right aligned works at least not on my emacs maybe it's a problem with my backend for my image magic or something like that but still most likely than not you're going to use this uh, on the default and this impact is essentially the type of the font so i have i also haven't gotten this to work too much but notice that if i remove the impact i kind of get uh, i kind of remove that uh, essentially the bolder kind of font now, once I'm done with my meme, I can actually essentially notice that I'm in, I'm in uh, evil mode and uh, I can go into insert mode and hit the answer. If you are not using uh, regular essentially evil mode, you would simply need to press enter. And then I can have the option to upload it to Imgur or to save it. So I'm just going to save it, hit S, and then I can give it a pet. So my new meme.png. And you can choose again, either PNG or JPEG or whatever format fits you. So let's hit enter and uh, now let's close this off. Let's hit, let's open Ranger and let's see if I generated that meme correctly. So I have my new meme here. If I open this, notice that I get back. So whatever I generated first. Now this is as simple as it gets. So when it comes to uh, meme generation, now I'm actually under my .emxd and this is where I cloned the repo. So this is where the meme package resides. And you notice that I have uh, all the images here. So if you have an, any image that you want to generate, you just need to, uh, rather, if you have any image that you want to make a template for, you can just add it here. And then it becomes a part of your template list. So installation, again, I'm, I won't go through all the details because you can just read the readme. But uh, essentially, you, you need to make sure that you have the TTF uh, fonts for Microsoft. And if you're on Ubuntu, you have a way to do that from your package manager. Again, Arch Linux also has that through DAUR. I, I myself am on Void Linux, and uh, the workaround that I found was actually to pick up a, another Windows computer and then copy the Windows fonts folder into my, and uh, find the corresponding font, fo uh, fonts. So I just uploaded them to my machine and then it was working. You also need image magic. So uh, essentially when it comes to version, I think Emacs after version 26 is going to work just fine. 
for most applications you do need to make sure that you have image magic installed so i actually have image magic uh, 6 i believe VPN search image magic i'm actually using the void package manager so image magic 6 installed again it should work with 7 but i haven't tested it so once you have your font set up again uh, you can simply install it so by cloning the repo and you can clone it, clone it under, under your .emacs.d this is what I usually do and then you can add this uh, this little block here to your myinit.org or to your init.el if you only work with elisp and uh, that should put you in the right uh, in the right direction so that's pretty much it again when it comes to this meme generator it's a very simple package but I find it's very funny so just so you guys have an idea of what's out there so that's pretty much it guys I'll see you next time bye bye